So one thing here, like, uh, you know, like when we are the, the protection, I said the, uh, the gift of Dharma and gift of protection. So, so this thing about the, I think these two are very beautiful. I think uh, they're beautiful. Um, it's a gift, basically. You have, in the end of the practice, you have, you have a gift uh, prepared or you're preparing a gift and so you're preparing a gift to um, to demons of your ego, fear. You prepare a gift to the manifestation of those demons. You prepare a gift to a person that you don't like. And you, have, you are basically, this is a gift. So the gift, the idea of gift here, as you can see, it's kind of basically teaching. You are, you are teaching uh, to them. So in maybe you are, uh, so let's say anytime when you're trying to teach somebody, there's, a, there's a two possibilities, right? You have somebody who, op who is open to you, somebody who respects you, admires you, and somebody is really wanting to listen to you, then there's one. Then you have one kind of teaching. So you just kind of you have a you have an opportunity to talk, communicate. You say, okay, it's not good to harm others. Not good to harm yourself. Every word you say, you have a power over that being person. So you teach the loving kindness and compassion to that person. That makes sense. Or, or, or just saying be, being open, just connection to the, the nature of mind, so the, the teaching of the nature of mind in some sense. So. Or you don't have that kind of relationship to the person. Like usually either you are too separated, like people who really don't like you, you cannot teach them loving kindness. They, they might show you an interesting mudras back to you. <laughs> right? So forget about talking to them. <laughs> or you are too close to somebody, like your husband and wife, trying to teach loving kindness to the other person. Or your child, who, who you're trying to, trying to teach loving kindness. It can be a little challenging, right? So but what you can do, you don't have to say anything, be loving kind. <clears throat> you don't say anything, you don't tell them to do with loving kindness, or you don't give them uh, ideas, and schedules, and details, and nothing. You just be kind to that person. In a way, not only you cannot do, but you should not do. You just, you should not tell them anything like that. So the, even the demons, you should not tell them. But feel it. So when you're trying to do that, you, one thing you realize, I don't know, I don't, really don't feel it. But I can, I can teach, but I don't feel it. <laughs> you know? I can explain to my wife how to do it, but I cannot really feel it. Then there's a problem there. You're expecting from somebody something that you don't even have it. And very, very often, many, many times, that's, I think, one of the biggest problems in inter interrelationship with the people. And particularly a close relationship with people, that's the biggest problem that you expect from somebody something that you don't have. <clears throat> you expect from somebody to give you something that you don't give to yourself. Do you connect with yourself? Do you respect yourself? Do you care about yourself? Do you love yourself? If you do, then it's okay, maybe expecting from somebody. But if you don't connect with yourself, you don't respect yourself, if you don't love yourself, and then you're trying to expect from somebody else to do, and, and particularly get angry when they don't do, that's not fair. If it's the right thing to do, 
do first. You do first, then ask somebody else to follow you. So I think that's, I think that's kind of important principle here. This uh, gift of protection and gift of the Dharma is something that you really see the circumstances where you can, can you communicate or can you be? And of course, both is the best. But both is the best, but clearly you don't want it to, uh, or at least be conscious of not expecting too much from somebody when you don't have it or when you don't give it to yourself, not expecting from somebody too much. And also being aware when, when you don't have it, when you don't give it yourself, that loving kindness, and probably the person that you're living with more likely have problem with that also, probably does not have it. Does not have that joy, that your joy that you're expecting from that person for you. That person not might feel enough love for himself or for herself that you're expecting for you. So if somebody does not have for themselves enough, how they can share with you? It's difficult. If you if you demand, you're torturing somebody, and you're torturing yourself by doing that. So you don't want her to do that. At least be aware, uh, not to expect too much, maybe not to ask too much. Uh, maybe if you ask, make sure that you also contribute in the situation. Or maybe in the end, the truth is, when you, when you do have something, when you are able to connect with yourself, when you are able to discover in yourself, when you feel and when you give to yourself, you have enough, then you, you don't even ask somebody. You feel you're enough. Like during the middle of the practice, when you feel full, full with that sense of connection and warmth, you can see your, your expectation from somebody is already loosened up or you're not expecting. Instead, we turn, turn the other way around. We, we become the mother. Before we were a child, we became the mother by nourishing ourselves, getting ourselves, receiving from that source, inner source. And when we feel enough, we don't ask. We are ready to give. We hold our pain and fear as a child in our loving arms, like the mother does to the child. So we, we play the other role rather than continuously uh, asking. Not to, you know, maybe you might say, okay, well, good, you know, I've been asking, I've been asking a lot from my partner. Uh, I will not ask, I will give myself. You're trying to say, I'm giving myself, I'm giving, uh, 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 I'm giving enough myself. Now I'm ready to ask. <laughs> you see, if you feel like that, you have not given enough to yourself. Because you're all the time, you're preparing to ask. But when you really give yourself, you feel it's okay not to ask, also not need it. Instead, you have something to give. That's the gift of the Dharma. That's the gift of the protection. Okay, so that's very important. Just these two prayers to have some good relation to when you sing them. And even, even sometimes when you don't sing them, as a principle of that, you can always apply that in, informally in life. No? Mm -hmm.